Hey, okay, well this video is called Blue Tack Track, and it's called Blue Tack Track just basically to explain to you um, why all of the track is laid down with Blue Tack. Uh, there's a very good reason for that. Um, basically, without any Blue Tack, if we take it all off, if we take all the Blue Tack off, then we get to see exactly why we need it because the track just moves about all over the place and when the locos go around the track, especially at high speed they tend to push the track in one direction or the other and then the gaps start to form between the fish plates uh, there can even be derailments and it's basically not good now obviously in a perfect world it would be all tacked down but there's no way I'm going to hammer nails into the floor of the conservatory which is where it is at the moment because it's basically just being tested, it's basically just being played with. Um, you know, layouts are being tried, uh, reverse loop modules are being played with, um, and the locos are giving, being given a good run in. It will move into its proper room, uh, which is twice the size of this conservatory, and that will happen soon. But for the time being, um, it's going to have to stay here in the conservatory, so we have three options. One, leave the track loose, which is no good. Two, hammer nails into it, which is definitely a no. Or three, hold it down with just a little bit of blue tack. Okay, it doesn't look very nice. It doesn't look very professional, does it? Yeah, we know that. But it doesn't bother the locos at all. If you just pull off a bit, say about that much, and then just roll it up into a really small ball, something about that size and then you just press it firmly into the middle of the track into the gap between some sleepers just like that and then push it down with your finger and really roll it into the gaps each side of the sleeper and then push it down a little bit more and that's it that will not move now and if we do the same a little bit further along say about there or something like that do exactly the same thing and really really push it down and into the gaps just like that and then we get a wagon such as this Hornby EWS one and roll it over it's totally not affected by the blue tack the flanges don't hit it the wheels don't hit it the bottom of the wagon doesn't hit it. It's as if it wasn't there. But it is there. I mean, obviously, we can see it, and it doesn't look very nice. But who cares what it looks like while well, locos are just being given a run-in and we're experimenting with different layout designs. For now, it'll do. And it's definitely much better than running it on a piece of track where it's not laid down. If you run a loco around that high speed, you find that it moves not good. So, blue tack track. Not ideal, but for the time being, the best thing there is.